What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Chino and I know it's been a couple of weeks since I have posted but let me say that it has been a very busy holiday period. I'm sure for you guys as well. I've spent some time visiting family, family visiting me. I've had a really good time over the holidays apart from the fact that between myself and my cat we managed to break a very very expensive monitor and I've spent some time recabling throughout the studio so that I can use an older monitor just so I can get some content out for you guys. Hope you do appreciate it. But let me take this opportunity to say happy 29 Hope you had a great holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all of that kind of stuff and I hope you spent that time with people that you hold near and dear. So let's talk about the video and of course as the title suggests this is about my first campaign, my first experience with Warframe. Now I know Warframe has been out a really long time before you guys jump on my bandwagon, hating me, hating the fact that I'm starting this game so late but let me say I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to start the game since they've recently ported it over to the Nintendo Switch and I've actually found my myself playing the Nintendo Switch a lot lately so I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to restart a campaign that I only briefly started many many years ago as a PC player until my PC actually died and at that time I was playing the game really really socially I had a really cool clan to help me through a lot of content and my computer completely died it didn't die in a sense that I needed to replace one thing the whole motherboard died it took with it some RAM it was just a whole heap of a mess so anyway um, by the time I fixed the computer reinstalled Warframe and I got back into it I realized how far ahead all of my clan mates were and to be honest with you it kind of took away a lot of the fun that was with Warframe at the time so I kind of stopped um, based on that tainted experience and I didn't really go back to it so I think now's a really good chance for me to really experience Warframe and I do know that yes since that time they've changed a lot of things in the game the movement experience totally has changed everything in the controls is different I know there's a lot of extra content there and yes I do know before you say I do know that Warframe is such a high learning curve it requires a lot of invested gameplay hours it requires a lot of farming but I'm willing to do it if you guys are and let me say if this video does reach 2,000 views we'll say 2,000 well 3,000 Look, let's say 2,000. If it reaches 2,000 views, then we'll create a Let's Play experience. And if we continue to reach that much, and if we make it to, let's say, by the second or third video, we make it to 3,000 views, then maybe we'll buy some Warframes in the store so that we can get a little bit more ahead and start catching up to those players we're playing for a very long time. But I'm actually hoping to recruit you guys, you guys as veteran players who know a lot more about the game than I do, to tell me, and you can use the comment section to do this, but tell me why I am such a noob at the game and help me understand what it is that I need to be doing to be a better Warframe player because what you're going to see here this footage that's about to appear in front of you is all about my first experience with Warframe and learning how to play the game so I chose Excalibur as my first Warframe and uh, he was the one I used before I thought it was really cool and I'm just learning as the game is taking me through tutorials and things like that so what you're about to see is uh, my first experience playing through some of those quests with the Vor campaign in the very beginning and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the experience enough to leave it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and again let me know in the comments if you want to see more and of course let me know in the comments what it is that I can be doing to become a better Warframe player that's going to do it from this version of me now I'm going to leave you with the version of me that was playing Warframe for my first experience hope you enjoyed today's video again and I'll catch you guys in the next one And look, look how fast I'm spinning. I mean, I know it's obviously a bit blurry, um, as it would be moving that fast. But look at it. I'd say it looks pretty damn good still. The, um... This was once a prosperous independent colony, until the Grineo arrived. Movement system is obviously. The fear you, but I will show them. Their love will return no! when I deliver you to them. Oh, we need to kill the Tano, are you there? The signal cannot be boosted any further. Hurry, you are running out of time. Did I kill him in time? No alarms. Oop, oop, oop. Oop. Boom, bitch. 
Strong, isn't it? Up close. I've got to get used to the, um, the aiming you. and the movement. Oh, you let me know they spotted me now. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Alright, let's, let's check what's in here. Thank you. Super yet? I haven't felt the need to. Is that a pressure plate? Oh, that's cool. All right, so where are we heading? to get this aiming right for me. Segment. Now pick it up. Where, where From behind? We've been locked out. Let's override the security. Are they? Successful. Let's get going. Oh, they're legging it. They're legging it. We're going up. All right, let's use the elevator. Is one step closer to completion. Down there? No. Okay. There is one more thing you need to do. Eliminate all Grenier and provide justice for the colonists. 
all of them. Come on, man. Soon the worm will be in your spine, and I will control this warframe of yours. I will purge your doting mother and bring you home. What's this thing? Okay. 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 That's great. Alarm successfully hacked. The location is returning to normal security levels. Where are they? Oh, the mini map. Okay, okay. Um, right. Something red here, so I'm gonna check it out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There's another one here? Where is he? To extraction, we are done. But we're not done. Alright, so we have to go up a level maybe? Down a little. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah!
picking up all the stuff. Okay, yeah, this is good. We want to loot, I suppose. We want to loot. This is what these farming games are kind of about. Another job well ex Your foundry segment is ready for installation, operator. Will the operator build a cephalon to replace me? Uh, if you keep sounding like that, maybe. Let's have a look here. So this is the foundry. It looks like a 3D printer on steroids. Alright, what's the foundry? Foundry restored. Here, the operator will craft many powerful weapons and tools to exact revenge for dismantling me to expand your arsenal. Oh no. Operator, our component storage has been looted as well. Typical corpus. Sure, the blueprint is free, but jack up the components. Operator, we will need resources in order to build the countermeasure blueprint. So I'm guessing this is where you take your blueprints, and the what we're seeing here is I need General, I just these materials to craft. From your ship, if you're looking for resources, why didn't you just say so? Okay. I know just the place, but I demand an apology. My mother is no gymnast, and she would never eat those things. You can go straight to operator. I am sorry. Wow. You may want to get a new ship Cephalon when you can afford it. <laughs> that one seems glitched. I've marked your navigation with the place I know. It's good for resources, if you can stand the cold. I'm sure I'll be fine. Summons an arc wing or arch wing, depending on how you want to read it, for use during free roam missions. Air support charges and Ascaris and Negator safely disengages the Ascaris from your warframe. So these are the materials, so iridite, fish oil. So these are all like Wow, 700 of those. 1055. Oh, I've already got 1055 ferrite out of 1200. Okay, so some of this, I mean I've only done three missions and okay, so you can probably get it quite a bit. So me mashing up those chests is probably a good thing for now. Um, just farm as much as I can. Explore the soul system to find all the resources to build a variety of items. Advanced players may also use the foundry to craft Titan extractors, a drone capable of securing resources outside of your missions. That I like the sound of. So literally, turn the game off, go to work, go to school, whatever it is that you've got to do in your regular time, play some sport, do some stuff, hang out with friends. You come back, and this drone has done some work for you, has, has collected some resources. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Really like that. Really, really like that. That's cool. That's cool. Um, okay, judging from the time, I'm not going to have enough time for another mission. That was a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This has been a decent learning experience, and I'm kind of, color-wise, <laughs> I'm kind of going with, uh, I suppose you could say, the whole Captain America Spider-Man color choice. But anyway, there it is. Um, this is me and Excalibur signing off for our first ever Warframe experience. We are going to continue this. I really can't wait to come back and jump straight in. And um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by this stage I'll learn at least a couple of things. And we're going to continue on this mission. And we're going to see where this game takes us. We're going to see how far we can push ourselves. And we're going to see how fast we can grow. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Warframe on the Nintendo Switch. Chino Experience. This is episode one. Follow through for the rest of the series. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya!